Oh, That's what I mean. You should go away. Please, please go away. Please go away. Please. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see that? Why does he keep doing that? Oh my god. You expect me to jump in your truck and be like, hey, bro, let's go. Look at this little demon that's in here. She doesn't believe in God, do you? In a driveway, something strange is happening. A man has been caught on camera multiple times standing in the driveway and peering into the house's window. Inside the house lives a father and his young daughter, but they are not at home when the man is first spotted. However, fate has a different plan for the man. In another video, the man returns, and this time the father and daughter are inside the house. It seems like he deliberately comes back because they are present. This situation is incredibly frightening because it could happen to anyone. Imagine someone lurking in your home without your knowledge. Terrifying, right? However, luck is on the side of the father and daughter. As soon as the man realizes he has been discovered, he hastily flees the scene, managing to escape without being caught. The incident serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of home security and staying vigilant in our daily lives. A woman walking on a dimly lit street feels increasingly uneasy as a man follows her. She pleads with him multiple times to let go and leave her alone, but he ignores her. Get off me. What's like, the I, word? Please get off me. I actually, please get off me. Stop, please get off me. What's the word when someone feels so <gasps> When someone feels ah. so Please. Done that. Please, yeah, that's the feeling of you should Fuck go away. That, that's you. what I mean. Oh, that's what I mean. You should honestly? go away. Please, please go away. Please go away. Please. Oh. She expresses fear and frustration, desperately asking him to go away and respect her boundaries. Please so go weird. back to your friends. Please leave me alone. Please. My friends are happy about that. Yeah, and I'm happy by myself. Please leave me alone. Are you actually serious? Please leave me alone. Please. Hey, I want to Please leave me alone. <sighs> my friends stay. My friends are staying here anyway. Okay. He just followed me from fucking steampunk. I was like, please leave me alone. <laughs> Me. Despite her pleas, he continues to persist, causing her distress. In this really scary video, there's a man who looks very dangerous. Just seeing him gives me a fright. Now imagine being a woman who doesn't know about the danger he poses. In the video, a line appears on a map, showing how far he followed her. But even that didn't stop him from continuing to chase her. He even goes into her backyard and tries to get into her house. He tries different windows determined to get inside. What's even scarier is that this happens on a college campus where students have seen this man hanging around. I've seen him a couple times too. I'm around the union. I have seen him within the last week or so. Um, I wouldn't say I've seen him much before. The terrified woman has no choice but to hide in her own home, hoping that the creepy man will go away eventually. He stays on her patio for another 15 minutes, making the situation even scarier. Every moment of this ordeal is extremely terrifying for the woman. As females, we just have to take the extra precautions necessary to um, keep ourselves safe, but also make sure that our friends are safe and that our friends get home. And, you know, text your friends when they get As women, we need to take extra steps to make sure we're safe. We should watch out for our friends and make sure they get home safely. It's important to stay in touch and message our friends when they arrive home. There is a scared woman who finds herself in a very frightening situation. The person who is accused of kidnapping her is chasing after her, so she goes to a gas station to seek safety. She hurries into the convenience store, closes the door quickly, and locks it just in time. This is a very intense and suspenseful moment happening at a gas station in New Jersey. The authorities say it has been a terrible experience for the woman that has lasted a whole year. She was like, he kidnapped me, he kidnapped me, call the police. A gas station worker named Jamie Garthus sees the woman escape. She is wearing a plaid jacket and runs toward Jamie, asking for help and saying that she has been kidnapped. Jamie doesn't hesitate and follows the woman inside, locking the door behind them. The woman has a red mark around her throat, which shows that she has been through a difficult time. Oh, she just ran inside and I just followed her and then she locked the door. She had a red mark around her throat, like you could see like his, like his handprint, like as you could see at the thumb. The suspect, a 57-year-old man named James Perillo, escapes on a bicycle but is later caught two miles away. According to the woman, she met Perillo in New Mexico, which is 2,000 miles away, and they started a relationship. After a month, she wanted to leave, but Perillo allegedly started keeping her as a captive. He took away her money and credit cards as they traveled across the country and eventually ended up in New Jersey. 
The gas station owner, Bobby Medden, reveals that the woman had been to the store before and had planned her escape carefully. She had noticed the door and its lock and knew that one day she will have a chance to run away and find safety inside. Her plan worked and she successfully locked the door, keeping her captor away. Looked at the door and she knew there's a deadbolt, so she had planned this, that one day I'm going to try to run and I'm going to come in here and deadbolt the door, and she did. The authorities in New Jersey suspect that Perillo may have done this to other women before. Two women have previously come forward, saying that Perillo has kept them captive for over a year on hiking trails in California. However, no charges were filed against him at that time. Finally, this brave woman managed to break free and took the opportunity to escape. She just got away. She just saw the opportunity and ran. She seized her long-awaited freedom, leaving her tormentor behind. On a normal day at a grocery store, two people who didn't know each other accidentally bumped into each other. This made the man very angry for some reason. He decided to follow the woman to her home. Things got really scary when he tried to hurt her by shooting a gun, but luckily he missed her. Sadly, her brother got hurt instead and needed medical help right away. There was a lot of confusion and chaos. The man took advantage of the situation and ran away. It's hard to understand why such a small thing made him react so violently. Why would someone, do you think, get so mad over something so small? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, people just time bombs, you know, for little stuff, dumb stuff. Maybe he had a lot of built-up anger or was not in a stable emotional state. Whatever the reason, he went way too far and lost control. In California, a couple is going out for a fun evening in glamorous Hollywood. They don't know that someone is following them as they drive home. Unbeknownst to them, their security camera, which is placed outside the garage, is secretly recording everything that happens. As the couple arrives at their driveway, another car quickly pulls up behind them. Several men get out of the car and forcefully take the couple out of their own car. They have tasers and stun guns and use them to control the frightened couple, threatening them with guns. They quickly search the couple's car and then go into their home, taking whatever they want. Once they are done stealing, the criminals disappear into the night, taking all their belongings with them. This video is distressing as it shows a woman being repeatedly attacked by a stalker for a year. Unfortunately, she hasn't reported these incidents to the police yet. It is hoped that she will seek help soon and find safety. All right, girl, what's going on with you? What are we going to do with you? Huh? When are you going to go get some help? And stop letting fear control you, huh? Huh? What's your greatest fear? That she'll be hurt? It's already happened. Your greatest fear is already happening. You're already being hurt. He's already hurting you. He's restricting your ability to live. You don't go where you want to go. The man controls your life. Your greatest fear are already coming true, so you might as well go to the police. What's the difference? I just got to the Oh, what's the difference? Seriously. You scared he'll hurt you? He already hurt you. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is what I want you to see. Your, your fears are holding you back, and they're really already happening to you. You got to control that shit, you know what I'm saying? The person speaking to her emphasizes the need to take control, go to the police, and not let the perpetrator continue to harm her. You gotta go to the police, honey. You can't let this man keep doing this. You gotta go to the police, baby. Is this not, it's not how, you know, it's not, it's not, you can't stay locked up in your house. You know what I'm saying? Suicide ain't the answer. Every time I talk to you, you're thinking about committing suicide. Every time I talk to you, you're talking about jumping out a window. That's all you ever talk about is committing suicide. That, this is just, you're not even living, honey. You're so cute. And you got so much to live for, but you're not even living. You just keep talking about dying. You know what I'm saying? And you're still here. That's the crazy thing. You, 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 every day you talk about dying and you're still here. Because you have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Life, you don't want to die. What you don't want to do is hurt. So every day, instead of saying you want to die, you, what you want to die is the pain. You don't want to die. You just don't want to hurt anymore. So start using different language. Start saying, I don't want to hurt anymore versus saying, I want to die. Because you don't want to die. If you wanted to die, you wouldn't be here right now. You know what I mean? You would have did it. You know what I'm saying? You're, just, you're, you're hurting. You know? You don't want to hurt. How you doing, kid? 
Good to see you. I meet you there. Saturday. You, I know, you weren't there. I went there. No, I moved to Malibu now. Oh. You have a good day. Oh, okay. I was there on the 10.30 in the morning. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a lot of problems in Santa Monica, so we had to move in, you know. Back and forth and back and forth. Yes. Uh, we're okay. We're okay. Are you coming back on this yes, Saturday? Yes, okay, we'll see you this Saturday. Thank we'll be out there. Thank you so much, King. Next, let's go, honey. Um, you understand what I'm saying? So, um, honey, you got you to talk to, you haven't talked to um, uh, Officer Joseph? The person expresses concern and encourages her to seek help. In November 2020, a TikTok user named Clump found something surprising in his apartment he made a series of videos to share his discovery. In the first video, Klump showed a strange object he found in his sister's room, a hidden camera disguised as a USB charging port. A week later, Klump posted a second video revealing another hidden camera in the living room vent. What is that, Mom? What? Mom, you see this? Holy what, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? This video became very popular, receiving over 38 million views on TikTok. People all over the world started checking their own homes for hidden cameras. Different theories emerged, ranging from government surveillance to a tech-savvy person spying on the house. In a third video, Klump took a closer look at the end vent and witnessed something unsettling. The camera quickly retreated back into the vent as if its owner realized they were discovered. Klump suspected that his neighbor might be responsible. In the fourth video, Clump heard a noise in the vent and reacted quickly. He found another camera being inserted into the vent. He managed to grab it, but the camera was cut from the other end and became inactive. This raised concerns about potential access to the roof of his home. However, Clump hasn't posted any updates since early January. This has made viewers worried and led to demands for police involvement in the comments. The strange and unsettling events involving the hidden cameras remain a mystery and people are eagerly waiting for an update from Klump. This video was uploaded by a TikToker. She says that she has been abused by some man. The video shows a curtain with hair clips used to keep the curtain shut. Unfortunately, we don't know what happens next. In this video, captured by a security camera installed at a house, we witness a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt, intently peering through the window of a family's residence. Curiosity fills his eyes as he gazes into their private domain. He remains there for a couple of minutes, his actions hinting at a fear of being detected. The footage finds its way onto a local Facebook group, shared by a concerned neighbor who recognizes the man's repeated attempts to peer into the house. The family, perplexed and concerned, reaches out to their neighbors, hoping someone can shed light on the man's identity. Unfortunately, nobody within the community is familiar with him, leaving the family to ponder his persistent visits and the motives behind his intrusive behavior. A woman shares a cautionary tale with her viewers. She warns the ladies about the presence of repulsive men out there who seek to harm or assault women. They may even be involved in the dreadful business of human trafficking. Ladies, you guys need to be really careful out there because there are a lot of really disgusting men and they're just looking for the next opportunity to hurt or attack other women or maybe they're even a part of the human trafficking um, business. Recounting her recent experience, she explains how she went to a gas station to buy ice cream. While waiting in line to pay, a man approaches her and compliments her inappropriately making her feel uncomfortable. Despite her discomfort, she thanks him, hoping he would leave. But I just came to a gas station to get ice cream, chicle, I love it, it's my favorite. And I'm standing in line waiting to pay for it, and this guy comes up to me, he's like, hey, baby, you are really beautiful, you are really funny. And I was really uncomfortable, and I was like, oh, thanks. No, but I'm telling you, like, you're I'm like, okay, thanks, I got it. However, he remains in his car, fixated on her every move. He watches as she gets into her car, studying her vehicle intently. The man then steps out of his car, pacing back and forth, staring at her menacingly. 
The woman is aware that simply leaving wouldn't solve the problem, as he might follow her and discover her destination, or even her home. He leaves and he waits in his car and he's just staring at me the entire time while I'm waiting in line to pay for my ice cream. Then he watches me get into my car, figure out what car I'm in, and he's staring at me, looking at me, um, and just, and then he gets out of his car and he starts pacing, look, just staring at me, going in front of my car, on the side of my car, going around my car, like, what the f man? Everybody's probably thinking, like, why don't I just take off? Because if I would have just taken off, he would have taken off right after me and figured out where I'm going or where I live. Sensibly, she decides to record his behavior for evidence. She captures him on video as he walks in front of her car, his presence unnerving her. Frustrated, she confronts him, expressing her disinterest and emphasizing that she does not want him there. She continues recording him, urging him to leave, ensuring that his actions are documented. Anyway, so I recorded him. Let's play it. Now, look, at he's just walking in front of my car. He was First he was here in front of the car. Now he's over here. He's just staring at me, pacing back and forth like, what the doing dog what do you, what you expect to get you expect me to jump in your truck? you expect me to jump in your truck and be like hey bro let's go smash. let's go to the local motel six. let's go yeah do you get the right now dog i don't want you i don't want you I'm recording you i'm recording you yeah i'm recording you leave leave yeah leave there's his license plate and he does business. Landscape. Eventually, the man drives away, and the woman reveals his license plate and occupation as a landscaper. Someone unknown showed up at this person's door. This person looked unfamiliar and said he was a pizza delivery person. But this woman felt uneasy about the stranger's intentions. She talked to the visitor and offered help if they needed it. Can I help you? Uh, I have a pizza delivery for you. Even though she said they didn't order any pizza, the stranger insisted on delivering one to the house. The stranger wore a mask, saying it was because of the cold weather, even though it wasn't cold outside. I didn't order any pizza. Uh, yeah, yeah. it was this address. Yeah, you did? No, I didn't. And why are you wearing a mask? Uh, it's cold is why I'm wearing a mask. And if you did order a pizza, you should come open up the door and pay for it. No, I didn't order any pizza. And it's not cold outside. The stranger wanted to come inside and get paid for the pizza he claimed to have brought. She got more and more frustrated and kept saying that she didn't order any pizza and told the stranger to leave. You should, you should come, you should, you should come down and just, just come open the door, just come down. Sir, shut my door. Just, just come, it's, it's a pizza. I did not order any pizza, you need to leave. You did order pizza, you need to pay for the pizza, I'm not gonna waste my time or money. I had to drive all over here, all the way over here, just to deliver you this pizza. Well, I didn't order it, so you need to get off my property. Just come open the door and just come pay for it. Just come pay for it real quick. Come open the door real fast and come pay for it real quick. Are you home alone? No, my husband's here and he's going to come down right now. You what? What? The stranger wouldn't give up and kept pressuring her to come down and pay. In response, she told the stranger that her husband was coming soon and would deal with the situation. This video is uploaded by a TikToker who says that when she started recording her stalker, he starts walking towards her. Luckily, she manages to get away and records him while hiding. He can be seen looking for her. A mom is followed home after a leisurely walk with her baby. 
She enters the secret code to open the security gate, unaware of a car trailing closely behind her. Two men quickly emerge from the car and sneak through the gate behind her. They swiftly snatch her bag, leaving her terrified. The terror that this poor woman went through was horrible with her baby. But now, when I come home, I watch to make sure nobody's following me before I pull in my... Now she takes extra precautions when returning home, making sure nobody is following her before she pulls into her driveway. This camera captured a terrifying video in which we can see that a girl has been followed by a man and he has the audacity to try to get in her house. Hello. Yeah, I just want to say hi. How are you? Oh, am I misunderstanding? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm misunderstanding. I just see you. Sorry. This is scary as hell. A person can be seen following a woman, but then luckily a car passes by and he stops going after her. This video tells a scary story. It is about a group of criminals who plan their crimes very carefully. They watch and study potential victims, paying close attention to the expensive jewelry they wear. Once they choose their targets, they start secretly following them back to their homes. In this video, they decide to do something even more dangerous. They target someone who owns a fancy car. The video shows the most terrifying part of their plan. They are currently following the car owner, who is stuck in traffic and attempting to steal his car. But the driver is not giving up easily. He is driving away quickly, with the criminals chasing. Something unexpected happens. They crash into something, and their car can't move anymore. Realizing that their plan has failed, they quickly think about what to do. They don't have any other options, so they decide to run away on foot. In a hurry and panic, they are grabbing their things from the car's trunk and disappearing into the distance. The idea of being targeted and followed by this bad gang is really scary. It's terrifying how they take their time to carefully choose their victims and plan exactly what they want to steal before committing their crimes. A man with the username Shell Del Bell, excited to showcase his Halloween decorations, becomes unsettled by the sensation of being watched. He records a video displaying his spooky creations and mentions the nearby church, which adds to the eerie atmosphere. While looking towards the church, he notices two mysterious figures observing him. Initially thinking it's a prank, his unease grows as he realizes the figures are intensively watching him. He questions whether they are genuinely stalking him, involved in an occult ritual, or part of an elaborate hoax for his video. This video is about Moore's family experiencing a severe case of stalking. The family is in danger all the time, so they block their driveway and have a police car there day and night. They build a strong iron fence with a gate to make themselves safer. It's a scary situation because they are being targeted by people they don't know. We felt like we were under attack by somebody that we didn't know. For the past eight months, they have had to deal with many unwanted visitors. Different types of workers and even drug dealers come to their house. It's unusual for us to have a tow truck in the middle of the night come and, and try and take a vehicle from our driveway. The whole neighborhood feels like it's being attacked, so everyone keeps their garage doors closed and their doors locked. Everybody's got their garage door shut. Everybody won't open the door. I make sure the doors are locked. I'm not as carefree as I maybe once was. Walt Gilmore, who is part of the family, puts up a sign telling people to go to the North Salt Lake Police if they want something. The person causing all this trouble is still unknown, but the police think they might be in Hawaii. It instructs them to call the North Salt Lake Police, report it to them, so that we can keep track of all of the money that's being expended by these companies to mobilize to get to our home. They are also worried that the stalker has people nearby who watch what's happening and tell them about it. He has eyes, he has people that he's made contact with here in Utah to come to the home to report what's happening and to report back to him so that he knows his next move. The family lives in constant fear, not knowing what will happen next 
or who is making their lives so difficult. In Salt Lake City, a seven-year-old girl named Emmy McArdle is enjoying the warm sun outside her house. She lies down and soaks up the sun when suddenly, a car pulls up next to her. The driver seems friendly and smiles at her, but he asks her a question that makes Emmy feel worried. Emmy doesn't waste any time and immediately shouts, No! She runs as fast as she can towards the safety of her home. Her mother, Michelle, can tell that something is wrong when Emmy bursts through the door. Emmy tells her mom, in between catching her breath, about the man who tried to convince her to go with him. But Emmy makes the smart choice of saying no. I believe that he was looking for a child to take. She came running in and said, hey, there's a tricky guy outside that tried to get me. I didn't want to go with him because he looked like a tricky man and I didn't know him so I didn't want to go with him. The whole incident is captured on a surveillance camera attached to the doorbell. The video shows the stranger offering Emmy a bicycle, but she firmly refuses. Michelle is proud of her daughter for knowing about the dangers of strangers from a young age. Emmy's brave actions catch the attention of her local community, and her mom hopes that other children will learn from her experience. Go with a, um, a tricky person because they try and take you to a bad place. I'm so grateful that she knew what to do. The police in Salt Lake City are investigating the incident and asking for the public's help in finding the suspicious driver of the green Ford Taurus. It's very suspicious. First of all, just the mere fact that he stopped in front of the home that she's there sunbathing. Um, then when he starts engaging her in conversation, again, it's not typical that an adult would converse with a young child like that. No. The authorities consider his behavior very strange and inappropriate for an adult talking to a young child. This scary incident frightened everyone who heard about it. It all started when a brave young woman shared her terrifying experience on Reddit. She had been followed home from Walmart, and the person who was stalking her showed up at her door. During this time, a ring doorbell camera captured everything that happened. At first, the man didn't seem dangerous. He seemed like he was looking for his own keys, but he couldn't find them, and then he started acting in a sinister way. He looked around the corner of the house, making people wonder if he left something there for his unsuspecting victim. The atmosphere was full of tension as this eerie scene unfolded. It is a reminder not to blindly trust anyone. You never know when you might come across someone as unsettling as this person. This story is a warning to be watchful and careful, because you never know when you might encounter something truly terrifying. Lauren, an active TikTok user, shares a concerning experience in a parking lot where she encountered a potentially dangerous man. The man displayed odd behavior by recording Lauren's car, causing her to feel uneasy. Lauren decided to record the encounter on her phone to document the situation. As soon as she started recording, the man quickly left, continuously looking back. Lauren expressed her thoughts on the situation, calling him a weirdo and telling him to stay away. In a quiet neighborhood, a violent robbery occurred and was broadcasted nationwide, causing fear among the residents. The robbers, led by a young woman who pretended to seek help, forcefully entered a house. The woman opened the door slightly, making it difficult for the occupants to react, and signaled her hidden accomplices to attack. This incident raised concerns among nearby families, who started questioning their own safety and whether they should arm themselves and fortify their homes. If somebody's going to come in and do me harm, I, don't, I wouldn't want something less lethal. I'm going to want something that's actually going to stop them in their tracks. This emphasizes the importance of caution and not opening the door to strangers at night. In this video, the narrator begins by pointing out a suspicious car that has been tailing them. They express their concern and shock, repeatedly exclaiming, Oh my God! They manage to capture the license plate of the car and are relieved when they see the police pulling it over. Car? Right there? The car has been like, it's been following us. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, do you see that? Why does he keep doing that? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what does he want? What does he want? What does he want? No, he's still following us. I got his license plate. He's being pulled over. He's being pulled over. He's being pulled over. Just slow down, slow down, slow down. He's being pulled over. He's being However, their relief quickly turns to confusion as the car continues to follow them, even after being stopped by the police. Yeah, stop it, stop it. In 900 feet, turn right onto northeast. 
the narrator is bewildered and questions why the driver is persistently tailing them. Oh my god, why is he following us? They mention that the police are now chasing the car, emphasizing their disbelief and frustration with the situation. Police is chasing him. What the hell is wrong? He's literally getting pulled over and he's still chasing us. What the hell is wrong with this guy? They try to make sense of the bizarre and unnerving events unfolding before them. A man followed a woman secretly and pretended to apologize for something that didn't happen. He then tried to forcefully take her to a parking lot. She managed to free herself from danger. Later, a video showed the same man following another woman. We can only hope that he receives a severe punishment for his actions in the future. In the video, a man aggressively confronts this woman for not believing in God. He uses a megaphone to amplify his anger, causing a commotion. Another woman, labeled a demon, is also targeted for her lack of faith. The man claims that the devil is recording their interaction and threatens the woman with the prospect of burning in hell. So there's this guy yelling at me, telling me I'm going to go to hell because I don't believe in God. He's got this megaphone. Watch. Let's see, he's coming up right now. The video clip ends, leaving a sense of unease regarding the narrator's safety and the intensity of the confrontation. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. The narrator expresses a desire to leave due to the absence of lights. A companion asks about the situation with someone named Brad, to which the narrator responds with a cryptic remark. They both notice that someone seems to be searching for them. They decide to remain calm and unseen. The narrator ponders the identity of the individual or individuals, thinking it might be two people. Yeah, we gotta go. Who the hell that guy was? Or guys? I don't know if it, it looked like two lights. Yeah, it did look like two people. Right? I hope there's nobody else this way. Really see where we are. Yeah. Yeah, we can't even like run. Yeah. It's too slippery. <laughs> yeah. As you guys can see, it's pretty snowy. 
I mean, it could have literally just been someone hiking, but it looked like they were either looking for something or I, looking for us. I definitely and felt I, like I was being searched for at right? that point. And I'm just nervous because of what happened the last two times I was here. Well, I did ask you, you didn't fill me in. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll tell you after, but I don't really want to stop at the moment, especially because we can't. They discuss the possibility of the strangers searching for something or specifically targeting them. The narrator feels anxious, referencing previous unsettling experiences in the same location. Their companion questions why they were not informed earlier, but the narrator brushes it off, saying they will explain later. They hesitate to stop or run due to the unknown capabilities of the strangers. I don't know, someone just kind of showed up and for some reason Brad and I were like, screw these guys. Like, um, so we literally just started following him and he kept, he was like hiding in weird places and then he would just take off. So huh. it was obvious that he was there for us. Yeah. And I don't know, I just decided whatever, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, so you guys retaliated or tried to? I guess you could say <laughs> that, but whoever this guy is or guys or whoever they are essentially is, looks like they're gone, so. Uh, I still have this thing. The narrator concludes that the strangers are no longer present. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.